Yeah, we went 0 and 4 or 1 and 4 or 0 and 4 or 1 and 3. So that is not good. Uh, I'm not going to show our first game of the season because you guys will see it in the next episode. I'm just going to go over the injury report for all the teams real quick and our roster because we made a couple cuts and all that stuff. And um, first thing first, we're going to go over our, over our injuries. We just got a couple banged up players on the uh, defensive line. We got Chris out for two games and then Red out for one game. And Chris wasn't a starter. He was a backup. But Red was a starter. But he's only out for one game, so I think we will be fine about for that. I'm going to start the Jets. Quinton Copeless is out. Quad tear, all right. Ooh, that sucks. Stafford's out for four days, or games. He's a 95 overall. Dang, they got tons of dislocated ankles. Eddie Lacy's out. Josh Sitton, I don't even know who that is. Looks like a god, though. Panthers don't really have anyone out. Patriots got one of their good linemen out, and Joe Mays. Okay. The Raiders, Pat Sims is out. Dang, the Raiders got a lot of injuries. Rams got a defensive tackle. I was hoping we didn't have any injuries, but sadly we do. And Torrey Smith is out. Terrell Suggs and CJ Mosley for the Ravens. That sucks. Jason Hatcher is out for the Redskins. Saints, yeah, they got no, they got, they're lucky. Percy's out. Zach Miller and Cliff Averill's a 94. Holy shit. Holy shit, all right. That is a little insane. Steelers have no injuries, lucky bastards. Jadavian Clowney's a 95 in one season? Good lord. Titans are an 80. I guess the Texans did do really good. Maybe that's why Jadavian Clowney and JJ went off. Those two just paired up, probably was spanked. Bills got Marcel Darius, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, Jermichael Finley's on the Bills now, what the heck. Broncos got basically no one. Browns have no one. Bucks basically have no one. Cardinals basically have no one. Chargers have Melvin Ingram. Was that Philip Rivers? He's a 79 overall now. Good lord, Philip. What's happening? Colts. All right, they got basically no one. Cowboys. Dolphins got Mike Pouncey and Randy Starks. Dang, got two good players out. Eagles have Fletcher Cox out. Falcons have Sidney Rice is on the Falcons now. What in the world? All right, all right, okay. Justin Smith's out for the 49ers. Giants have the uh, offensive lineman out, and we're back to us. So, the other thing we're going to show in this video is just our roster, so you can see uh, the people growing. Blake Bortles actually got up to 81 um, through preseason, like with all the XP and stuff that he's been earning, and I've been doing drills with him and stuff. So that's good. He's already grown three overalls this season. I just, I just can't screw him up this season. Last season, I did terrible with him. But we do have a better offensive line. We have, hope we have really we have a, um, actually a better, a, a well, well, well improved run game with Derek Coleman at fullback and a new rookie at running back, and uh, better receive another receiver to help him out. So this should be a good season for Blake Bortles and for us as a team. Um, Shade and Dean is going to be starting at running back, and I actually, act, accidentally, act, um, actually, geez, I couldn't say that word. Um, put Denard as our backup because I was thinking towards the future. I see him with two seasons played and Toby with five. And if Shade and Dean is basically like another Denard, he's just super fast and quick and like agile and stuff. So if we're going to be playing that type of style with our running backs, I might as well have Denard Robinson um, with them. And as you can see, it is a sad day, but we did have to end up cutting Storm. Because I wanted to keep everyone else, but it's all good. Hopefully it gets picked up by a team. Um, fullback, Derek Coleman, 86 overall. Is a beast, I know. Uh, wide receiver, we got Wes Walker playing the slot. We got Cecil Shorts and Justin Blackman. I want Justin Blackman to be my main receiver just so if he goes deep, you know, bam, he catches that. And confidence, look at that, 18-7. and seven. We definitely got to start improving their confidence. I didn't know it was that low, but Wes Walker has 99 confidence. God knows why. I don't know why he's fucking 99 confidence, but he does. Um, so, yeah, I actually didn't even know they have 18-7. and seven. So maybe that's why they drop passes a lot. Um, yeah, we'll have to work on that. But receiving, our receiving core is looking really good. We also got Marquise Lee, Allen Robinson, and Ace Sanders back there. Uh, some young players to help him. And Mercedes Lewis has 11 confidence. Jesus Christ. And um, Gerard Chaney, um, our rookie. He's not that bad. A 71 overall for a rookie. It's not that bad, so hopefully he can do good. Uh, Luke Jockel, 85 overall. It's pretty good. Left guard, James Carpenter, 99 confidence. He's hyped. He's ready for the season, so that's good. Our center, we got Samson Sat Satili. I don't know. We picked him up in the free agency because our rookie was 
not quite uh, ready for the start yet, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll end up growing the rookie. Um, our right guard, 76 overall. It's, it's all right. It's decent. Our right tackle, our rookie, actually went up three overalls as well, just like Blake Bortles. He's now an 81 at uh, the first beginning of the regular season, which is really good. So hopefully he can improve and be a beast. Um, left, uh, um, left end, we have uh, Red Bryant usually here, but he's hurt for two games, I think, and Chris Clemens one game, or maybe it's vice versa, I don't know. But we have Tyson starting at left end for us for going to this uh, first regular season game. He's a 78 overall. And Andre Branch is, our, our defensive line just is stacked. I'm just going to keep it like that. And we got Ricardo Franks, who's a rookie, he's an 80 overall. And Chris Clemens would be right behind him. So, I mean, our defensive line, like I said, is going to be so good. Our D tackles, Hendry Mountain, 90 overall with Senderic Marks. That's Senderic, that's a crazy name. But 80 overall for him and 90 overall for him. That's just so good. Our, our linebacker core is really good as well. With Big Paul, Big Paul stepping out. And uh, instead of playing middle linebacker this season, like his whole career, we decided to put him at left outside linebacker because we also got Brandon Spikes playing middle linebacker, which is just fantastic. 89 overall. That is what I like to see. That is just oh, beautiful. And we got Jabal playing um, right outside linebacker. Um, our corners is our weakest spot on the team by far. Um, Dwayne Gratz and Demetrius McCray are going to have to hold it down because we got three rookies, basically. He's only had one year, but basically three rookies all in mid-60s overall. So that is going to be tough for us to, uh, that's going to be very, very tough. But um, our safety positions are really good this year, too. We got Reggie Nelson backed up by Winston, who's a 77, playing free safety. But at strong safety, we got Cyprian, who's an 83, and Winston's an 80. So we got really, really good safeties, too. And our kicker, Josh Scobie, 84 overall. And uh, I was actually thinking about playing Josh Scobie at punter, too. And I was like, eh, no, we'll keep anger there. He's a 74 overall kick returner. I ended up putting Shade and Dean there. I, I'm sorry. I, I know I like Denard. I decided to put Denard there, but I was looking at his overall stats, like um, elusiveness, agility, spin move, juke move, all that. And it was just... I couldn't pass it up. His shade and his, he looks like a beast. He looks like he's going to have a really, really, hopefully a good season because he's behind a good offensive line. And James Carpenter, long snapper. Third down back is going to be Shaden. Denard's going to be right behind him. And that is our team. Um, I'm basically just going to go to the, every other team and just go to all. Position. I think I can go to all. Let me check if I can go to all here. No, we'll have to, we'll have to go to roster and do that. So um, I'm just going to check. And I'm not going to go through all their players. I'm just going to see like uh, their main players that they got. So, uh, just so you guys can see who they got. And they got a couple good players. A couple 90s. Eric Decker. Calvin Pryor's at 88. Damn. The Jets have a solid team. Honestly, they do. I'm not going to try to spend too much time because I want this video to be too long. Jets have a pretty good team. The Lions. Calvin Johnson and Nick Fairley, 99. And the Dominican Susan. They have three 99 overalls. That is, that is a little insane. They have 399 overalls. Dude, the Lions are stacked. Good lord. They got some really good players. Their team's kind of old, though. Got a lot of old players, but their team is set for championships right now. Green Bay is a pretty good squad. Who's that? Casey Hayward? Oh, I thought that was, thought that was someone else. Aaron Rodgers is 93. All right, Mason Crosby. Clay Matthews. They got, a pretty, uh, they got some old players as well. A lot of old teams. Packers don't look as good as the, the uh, what's it called, the Lions, though. But Luke Keekley's a 99. I'm not surprised about that because Luke Keekley is amazing. Mike Tolbert's also amazing, 93 overall. Greg Hardy's also amazing. Um, Kawan Short, I don't even know what that is. Their kicker's an 89. Panthers have a pretty good team, but I need to check. He's at 86. Wow. Come on, Cam. Step up your game. Step it up. Patriots got a 99 overall left tackle. Darrell Reeves is a 96, Gronk's a 93, Gerard Mayo, 91. Okay, they got some good players as well. I want to check how my boy Brandon Brown is doing. He's one of my favorite players in real life. I like him a lot. 87 overall. He got dicked down by the NFL so bad. He shouldn't. He's. He's. I think his first game is this. Um, this week in real life, which I'm. I'm happy for because he got screwed so hard by, by the NFL. Um, he didn't even the drug policy. He was playing uh, like Canadian football or arena, arena football or something. He wasn't even in the NFL when he did the when he did the drug that he did. I don't know what he did. He did something, and uh, 
uh, that was legal. I'm pretty, sure, I'm almost 100 sure it was legal for those that league's terms that he was in. But then when he went to the NFL, um, that was in his system, and so they suspended him for like half, like like tons and tons of games, like whole season for the Seahawks. Freaking Patriots picked him up. He was still suspended. They just dicked him down so hard. But I'm happy for him that he got picked up and has another chance to prove himself. Um, Khalil Max in 93 after one season. Jesus. Seal Moore. They got some really good linebackers. They have, who's their middle linebacker though? They got a middle linebacker? Not really. They got good outside linebackers though. So Raiders got a pretty good defense going on. Two good corners. Free safety's good. Another good corner. Pat Sims. Raiders got a good defense. Rams. 97 overall. Damn. 93, 92. Oh wow. 92, 92. I would like that on my offensive line. That'd be pretty crazy. I got a good D-line, too. Jesus. Zach Stacy's an 84. All right. A lot of good teams, honestly. It's it's a little... Our team's nice, but, I mean... I don't, honestly, I don't even think we have a 90 overall, so... <laughs> we have a lot of 80s, but don't, we don't got no 90 overall. So, it's going to be a little scary. I don't know how it's going to go this season. I just hope... I just I really want to get our run game established really bad. And um, before I forget, we, I'm going to be bumping up to 10-minute quarters for the first game just to try it out and see how it does. Um, if it, if um, I like it, then I'll keep it. If there's no one comment on my last video about the quarter length. They just said no pre... A lot of people said no preseason, so... Um, RG3 is an 87. What a joke. Shouldn't be... I don't, I don't like RG3 at all. Um, but I'm going to try it out. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't like it, then I'm not going to keep it. Just as simple as that. The Saints, Jimmy Graham's a 99 as expected. J Jarius Bird is a 97. Drew Brees is a 94. Kenny Vaccaro's a 91. A lot of 90s. Cameron Jordan, Keenan Lewis. Dude, so many 90s on the Saints. It's making me kind of sad. Seahawks, my favorite team. Who they got? Earl Thomas and Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman, 99s. That's nice. Cam's a 96. Oh, my God, look at this team. Bobby's a 95. Cliff's a 94. Russell Wilson, 93. Marshawn, 93. Russell Kuhn, 92. Percy, a 91. Michael Bennett, a 90. Stanley Avili, an 89. And they did have Derek Coleman. Bruce is an 87. Brian Byron's Maxwell's an 86. Me Bane's an 86. Look at this team, man. KJ's 85. Oh, my. Christian Michael's an 81, dude. Oh, my God. The run game. Marshawn Turbo and Christian Michael. That is insane. Dougie Fresh is an 80. Dude, oh, my God. Malcolm's a 79. Max is a 78. That's some, that's some cheese, dude. Max is really good. He should be in the 80s. He should be in the 80s, but oh well. Who the Steelers got? 97 overall. Nah, they got a solid team. Not as good as the other teams have been looking at, though. McGarrett Blunt's an 84. Oh my. Their run game. Le'Veon Bell's an 87. Their run game's going to be really good. Look at Garrett Blunt's freaking hair, man. Where'd he go? There he is. His hair, he's just... His hair is crazy. Texans. J.J. Watt, 99. They're D-line. J.J. Watt, Jadavian Clowney. Wait, where is Jadavian Clowney? What? Where is he? What in the world? There's no way they traded him. Or he, he they trade? There's no way they traded him. What? Where is Jadavian Clowney? He, he was in 95 or something like that, right? Oh, man, wait, he was hurt. Wasn't he hurt? I don't even remember. Oh, I'm on the Vikings now. AP, John Sullivan. I remember looking at him either this episode or some other episode. Oh my god. Is he hurt or something? Cordell's at 85. I like Cordell. Bears, Alshon's a 95. Brandon Marshall's a 94. Matt Forte's a 93. Jesus. Bears got a good receiving core. The Bengals, Geno's a 99. Right, I'm going to try to speed this up now because this video's getting a little long here getting a little long for the Bills got pretty solid team pretty solid team all right all right Broncos do they got who's quarterback for them Peyton's a 91 he's 39 he's still playing oh my god Peyton just retire retire you're too old Matt Prater he's not even in the league anymore goddamn steroids user Demarius Thomas their receiving core is unreal it is, oh my god, they have so many 90s. Their team's so good. Browns, who do they got? Oh my god, Joe Hayden and Joe Thomas, both 99s. 
and Alex Mack. Good lord, the Browns stack in their offensive line. Josh Gordon's a 95 too. Browns got I like the Browns defense a lot, honestly. I love their defense. Buccaneers, they got pretty good defense, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, corner, safety. Yeah, they got a pretty good defense. Who's their quarterback though? Mike Glennon. Yes, I like him so, and so much better than uh the other guy that was starting in real life. Um, I forget his name, but Pat Pete, 96 overall. Dion Bacon, I guess he was a rookie last year, it looks like. He's a 94, dang. Yeah, they got a good defense. Larry Fitzgerald's a 91. Pretty good defense. Uh-oh, I'm getting invited to parties. I'm popular. Eric Weddle's a 95. That's the only 90 they have. Feels like every team has a 90. Am I like the only team without a 90? I swear. Jamal's a 97. Eric Berry, I love Eric Berry. He's one, he's one of my favorite players. If I could pick anyone on out, like not on the Seahawks to be on the Seahawks, one, one most likely it would be Eric Berry. I just love Eric Berry. Devin McCourty plays on the Colts now. That's not good. That is not good. They got Colts got Andrew Lux in ninety one. Good lord, their team looks a little scary. Cowboys Tyron Smith ninety seven. Des Bryant's in ninety six. Oh my god! Please tell me Tony Homo. 84, get Tony out of here, man. He's too bad. He's so bad. I hate Tony Romo. Dolphins. I got a pretty good team. They got the other Pouncy brother. I judge, how would you like to be the parents of the, the Pouncy brothers? Mike Pouncy and Maurice Pouncy? How would you like to be their mom and dad? That'd be crazy. Both kids playing and starting and like gonna have like gonna be really good in the future. That'd be pretty crazy. Falcons. Alright, we're getting to the end of this. They got 190. Who's their quarterback? Still Matt Ryan? He's at 81. Dang, he's dropping me crazy. 49ers. Joe Staley's 99. 397s. Another good lineman. Another good lineman. They got a really good offensive line. Jesus. 49ers have a good squad. Last but not least, the Giants. Yes! I am not the only team. I'm not the only team with no 90 overalls. That makes me so happy. As long as Eli's under 70. Oh, they don't even have Eli. They have Blaine Gabbard. Oh, my. Eli, I don't even know if he's playing anymore. And Oh, we do have a 90. I'm so stupid, guys. I'm so stupid. Good Lord. But before I end this video, I just want to check if Jadavion Clowney is injured. Because I saw him. I swear I saw him. Because maybe I'm just... I have such a bad, like, memory. Yeah, he is hurt. Okay. He's out for 14 weeks. So, that is good. Because we played the Texans twice this season. Because they are in our division, obviously. And uh, I wanted to take a look before I end this episode. I was going to do it off camera, but I'm just going to do it so I don't forget. Is the free agency just to see if there's anyone in there. And look at that. See, I knew there was going to be good players. I just knew it. Don't really need any of them, though, honestly. We have a good team as it is right now. I mean, we don't need defensive tackles. We already have a young defensive tackle. It's an 80 overall. Well, he's, he's kind of young. And we have a 90, so we don't need that. I could pick up Charles Tillman and play him in the slot, but I'd rather have our rookies develop, so I guess we don't really need to pick up any of those guys. Um, rather have the rookies that we got, see if they can develop. And uh, that is it for this video. The other video, I'm going to make one more video today. Um, I might be able to upload it because I'm going to be watching the Seahawks game when this goes up. So, I believe so. I think I'll be watching the Seahawks game when this goes up. So I might upload the other one while I'm watching it. Um, I don't know. Probably, most likely. It's probably like 80% 80 um, that I will upload it. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are pumped for the next season, if you guys are pumped, or if you think we're going to make the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, that, that is my question. I forgot to say it at the beginning of the video. Where do you guys think we're going to end up um, at the end of the season? Do you think we're going to win the division? Do you think we're going to lose in the Super Bowl? Do you think we're going to lose in the wild card? Just let me know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you in the next one.